Democratic lawmakers joined the ranks of those huddled at a press conference before casting their final votes to override the governor's veto. We're standing with Maryland students, parents, teachers, and civil rights activists. So I'll be proud to cast my vote for an override of his veto. It has a little stamp on top that says vetoed. That means we're rejecting it. The governor made Send one last ditch effort on Wednesday to kill the legislation publicly before students at a Baltimore City charter school. But it may have come too little too late. The governor is concerned that the Protect Our Schools Act will tie the hands of his Board of Education, limiting their power in helping to improve failing schools. His narrow agenda of private school vouchers and for-profit charter schools is not supported by the vast majority of Maryland families who rely on public schools in their neighborhood. The bill's supporters accuse the administration of taking a narrow view of how to turn schools around. We are not interested in, in giving up our responsibility to provide a public education. The governor did make good on his promise to continue funding to make vouchers available for students who want to attend non-public schools. The state's PTA council is among those calling school. for unity. It's not about politics. It's about whether our children have access to strong, high quality public schools. And that's something We're both sides say they believe is still possible in the months ahead. Now the governor issued a statement late this afternoon saying in part, I'm sad for kids trapped in failing schools and concerned about losing federal education dollars. He also called the override of his veto a low point in Maryland's legislative history. Live in the studio, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.